I think I've trained myself to not get happy when I go into an Asian grocery store just because like as a vegan, usually you can't really eat anything. Today is my birthday. And I told you all last week that I broke my toe on the stone grinder thingamabob, which was great. I'm supposed to be off of it for maybe at least two weeks. Um, but I thought since it was my birthday, I should be doing something like special, something fun. Um, we still can't go anywhere yet, but um, there's a new Asian grocery store that is opening sort of uh, sort of near me sort of not it's a little bit of a walk so i thought that we would go there today and and explore and check out if it's a good grocery store i, I see pretty good reviews on it so yeah let's let's head over <laughs> So I think it's in this area because I remember it from the, the Google reviews. We're here, it's just right in front of me. I see a really long line, which uh, it pretty much came midday. I was supposed to go earlier this morning, but I didn't. And now there's a lot of people, so. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Might wait for a while, maybe come back tomorrow. I don't know, there's a lot of people. Almost there. That this is a quite large. Oh my gosh, look at this line of instant noodles. There's so many things here. You have azuki bean, green tea. Yeah, just like a lot of like Asian stuff. Red bean taro. Very cool. Uh, this is all the Korean section. This is the flower section. This is what I need. So I'm looking for mung bean starch. Here's like wheat starch for dumplings. Um, I am looking for red bean curd, but I'm looking for the one that has like the really pretty bottle. I just saw this, look at this. So it's like mushroom jajang paste. Quite cool. What are those? Just fish balls, noodles, much all of the hot pot stuff. So, you'll have like oh, that sheep. It's just all of the hot pot stuff. It's like, like that. Pardon. How, how cute are these? This is just some like like Chinese pastries, so kind of like your bakery section at the end. There's a fair amount of like Korean stuff here, so kimchi, egg tofu, egg tofu. Oh, 
foods here. There's not too much of like a like a fresh produce section. But We're back. I was not intending for this to be like a haul video, but I thought, why not? I already started eating this. So I have not done one of these for a really long time. So this is interesting. Um, yeah, I was going to just talk to you about how the, the experience was. There was a fair amount of people there. Um, the line went fairly quickly. I think it was like the second opening weekend, but you know, I think probably waited about 20 minutes there or so. So it really wasn't too bad. Um, inside, yeah, there was more people than I would actually like. So I was thinking like, okay, out of 10, um, what grade would I give it? I think I would give this one like a seven. Um, Tian Tian for sure was in a very kind of like, uh, it felt like it was a residential area, but like a very well-to-do uh, residential area, which uh, has, uh, has its issues now and then because I think Old Gate is really becoming an area where, you know, like a lot of uh, tech firms are coming up. And so of course, like a lot of the developers come in and, and, and price people out of uh, places to live. Um, it was very, very posh, um, but at the same time, quite nice because it's very spacious. Because usually in this area, most of the shops that you see are actually like quite small, they're quite packed. Whereas this one, I think, you know, put a little bit more work into their design. It definitely had like a more spacious feel to it. Like you didn't, you didn't feel like everything was crammed. Um, and like the coloring and, you know, display and everything was really good. I think I just have stuff all over the place. I'm so sorry. Uh, there were definitely really like cool brands that I had never seen before from like Japan, from Korea, from China. Um, th that were quite cool from like Taiwan. I guess like the only negative, I mean, they're still new at this. So it's like their second, uh, second week in, although I think they have another branch somewhere else. But I think the only negative is like, because they are trying to sell so many brands from so many countries, which I think they have to being in like a Western area, they wanna cover everything, is like sometimes I don't really see all of the products that I would like if I was like, let's say like very into Chinese food, like I wasn't able to find certain things or like if I was very into, you know, a particular food, but it's, it's that, that's just probably me. So it was it was very fun, it was very uh, nice to be there. So I let me just really show you guys very quickly uh, what what I ended up uh, getting. Just, this is not a haul video. Prices, <laughs> price wise, pretty similar to most um, Asian grocery stores in London in that, you know, like we do have like, probably like an import vat and whatnot. So, so I ended up getting uh, a package of um, just uh, toasted, does that say green tea? Oh, good. Uh, green tea seaweed, did not know that, did not see that. Um, just because I wanted some of it with grains. <laughs> I'm watching a lot of Korean cooking shows lately. Uh, roasted, roasted chestnuts, it is my favorite. Um, kind of like my favorite snack to eat. It's really sweet though. Um, I wanted to actually get some drinks, uh, not just like alcoholic beverages, but like drinks because I, I do a lot of food styling. So lately I've really wanted to incorporate more of the beverage scene in there. So I got this uh, really cool blue uh, Jinro soju. And then this one is the Bek Seju, so a Korean traditional wine. I don't know how it is going to taste. I, I'm not one that drinks too much. Uh, but this one, as opposed to this one, rice, cornstarch, yeast, uh, ginseng. You have some fruit, some hydrangea. Um, interesting. I imagine this is going to be a lot more uh, herbally, this Bek Seju. I thought it'd just be really pretty to photograph. Um, and then, what else did I get? Uh, so let's, let's do all of the drinks first. This is really cool, but it kind of let me down a little bit. So uh, 
you guys, I think you guys know like the traditional brands that do um, kind of like the sippy uh, plastic container ones, the ones that do like the, the lemon tea and the chrysanthemum tea and stuff like that. So I thought this one was for chrysanthemum tea, but I was like, oh man, like this is, this box is so pretty. It's so like retro. Um, and then up top, of course, it's a it's product of the Coca-Cola company. So, uh, yeah, many, many of the brands that you think like, oh, like they're independent brands, they actually, um, all of them are owned by Coca-Cola. It's, it's just really pretty, right? So you could imagine like a little bit of like a food styling, maybe like I'm doing like a little snack scene, a little bit of noodles, put that to the side. The colors are really pretty. I, I really like the colors. Uh, yeah, uh, two bags of black sesame seeds. You guys know I've been putting those into my oatmeal. Uh, of course, I had to get some instant noodles. So, I mean, the instant noodle section probably would bump up this place because like, there was a lot. There was a lot there. A lot of brands I hadn't seen before, but like a lot of brands with like really good branding, like super cute stuff. I bet they were like all like Japanese and stuff. Um, yeah, they had like a section that was like probably like more like Japanese, a little bit of Chinese, and then the Korean ramen section actually was their own aisle just because there was uh, so much. But uh, you know how this cutie cat looks. It's really cool because as a vegan, a lot of the times with Asian grocery stores, or, you know, instant noodles in general, they always have seafood in it, or they always add like a little bit of like milk powder or like cheese, just like, just hidden in there. And you're like, why did you have to do this? Uh, but I, I did actually find a couple brands where, you know, I don't think it was vegan certified, but um, there were definitely no, um, no known animal products that I saw in there. So this one is uh, Energy. It is supposed to be a sesame paste noodle. Again, really, really good branding. And then this one is a chili oil noodle. So I thought that it looked really good. Maybe we should do like an eating comparison contest maybe. Uh, what else, what else did I get? Red, red azuki beans. They're the big kind. Cause sometimes like, you know, places they sell the small azuki beans and you just feel like not as great. Um, snacks, snacks are another thing. So this one was one of like the only, like I looked at maybe 10 snacks that I had suspected may be plant-based. And this uh, millet crisp, hot and spicy is the only one uh, that I saw. <sighs> Yeah, anyways, uh, and then I got this, um, why did this say ing, okay. <laughs> and then I got this because I was really in the mood for something like very herbal and, and so this is the, the five flower tea mix. It's, um, it's like famous, I guess. Uh, my mom used to make it for us growing up. It has bombax flower, capillary wormwood herb, honeysuckle, chrysanthemum, and prunella. None of which I know, like, it's like a five flower tea. You usually make it if you've had too much like fried food or something. But uh, for me, I just really like, I really like uh, Asian herbal treats. Like, sometimes I like when things are bitter and herbally. Like, I really enjoy that. Like, um, like if you guys have had like the Anagastura bitters, I really like kind of that herbally. Like, I like that. This is fermented sweet rice. I had seen this in a travel video in China where they were making some kind of like sweet and then at the end they added a little bit of this, which is like a fermented, I think it's like a fermented sweet Chinese wine type deal. Almost like like what the Koreans do with their like fermented rice. I, I don't know, I've never tried it before, so. Dried bean curd sheets. These are not the very rough kind. This is like a thin layer, super like first first extraction phase, so I like to make dessert with this one. <laughs> um, it's not enough room on this table. Did we not talk about, the oh, okay, so again, I've been watching a lot of Korean stuff lately, so makgeolli, not, again, drinking is not something I do a lot of, but I also really thought that this would be really pretty in the back of a photo, and I know what you're thinking, you're like, oh my gosh, it's in a plastic, you know, thing, but that's like where they actually put a lot of like Magoli stuff is like in, cause it's not supposed to be like a very expensive, it's like a rice wine type drink in Korea. Um, but this one's chestnut flavored. So 
I don't know, chances are I probably still won't like it, but I, uh, I wanted to try it. Um, and then this uh, black bean soy milk, they had this one in the fresh section, so next to like the fresh tofus and also like the fresh noodles section, they had this. Why did I get it? Um, I liked the pouch, I think. What is this? Oh, I already had some of this. So <laughs> this is some herbal plum candy. So if you guys have like a sore throat or something, there's an original brand to this where it's actually like a cough syrup and it's super herbally and usually like there's like honey and stuff in it. So if you guys don't uh, eat honey, then you know, I don't think actually this has honey in it. It's supposed to coat your throat really well. And when I was younger, that's what, you know, I actually had for coughs. Um, this one tasted like plum. Uh, it, it, it has a different flavor to it though. So for those who are not used to kind of like um, Asian herbally tastes, uh, yeah, maybe just get a small bag like this, give it a try. I actually really liked it. So um, there's that uh, three more things. So uh, I got a bag of this. A lot of people actually did because it was in the fresh section. There was a ton of it. I think that they had overbought during the first two weekends or something. Uh, maybe they didn't. Um, uh, it's soybean sprouts. So normally when we see bean sprouts at the grocery store, they're mung bean sprouts. So the little sprout bit is like quite small, but Koreans actually do soybean sprouts a lot. And this is gonna be really delicious as like a side dish. Like you can season it with like a little bit of garlic, um, maybe like sesame oil, a little bit of salt. It'll be really, you know, really good as well as in soups and whatnot. Um, I got these enoki mushrooms because there were a pound and normally they're like two. And then finally, I ate this <laughs> earlier. <laughs> but um, I was in the dessert section. So much of it I could not eat. Like I can't have any of the like popsicles or there's milk and everything. So um, there was this mugwort uh, mochi with, um, with a zuki bean paste. So mugwort, I've told you guys before, but like the Koreans use mugworts a lot, probably like the Japanese do as well, but like you can't really, I can't really find it here. Um, flavor wise, it doesn't really taste like anything. So <laughs> I think mugwort is supposed to be a little bit bitter. So um, maybe if I can get some seeds, I'll just grow it and you know, we can make pancakes or, or other desserts or something with it. Uh, so yeah, that that's it for, for this haul. And I hope you guys enjoyed the little tour of um, a new grocery store near me. And yes, thank you so much. Happy birthday. Uh, yep, happy birthday to you all uh, as well. And hopefully you guys all enjoyed this. I will see you guys all again next time. Bye.